Hello everyone. In this video, I will be teaching you how to use your iOS device, for example, iPhone, iPod, or iPad as an XBMC remote. This should work on a computer, jailbroken Apple TV, even Raspberry Pi. Anyways, let's get started. On your XBMC, you need to configure a few things. Go to System, Settings, Services. Here in general, you can name your device. This is very helpful in case you have more than one device running XBMC. This is just a tip. You can leave it alone if you want. The actual fun part is in web server. Make sure allow control of XBMC via HTTP is enabled. All the other stuff you can leave default. Next, go to zero conf, that's C-O-N-F, and make sure that is enabled as well. That is it for the XBMC part. On your iOS device, make sure you install the official XBMC remote app. That is what it looks like. Links will also be in the description. When you open the app, this is what you get. What you need to do is tap on Add Host. Then find XBMC. If you did everything correctly, all the information should be automatically filled out. The description and the host. At this point, you can tap on save. Green means it's connected. If it's red, just tap on it and it will connect. When it's connected, you will get this menu. We can now click on remote control and use our device as a remote. As you can see, everything is working. I will also try some text input to kind of give you guys an idea of what you can do with this. To make the keyboard appear, just click the gear button on the top right and select keyboard. Here I am just entering some random text. Anyways, you guys get the idea. You can also switch to gesture zone and read on to see the different gestures you can perform. There's also a very convenient LED torch to find your way in the dark, I guess. You can control the volume inside XBMC as well. And that's about it. Anyways, try this out. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.